my jimmies, yeah, back with another. Coming to your life, yeah, straight from the gutter. Don't know me, well, I came from my mother. Looking so sweet, yeah, like another butter. Switching up flows, oh yeah, here I go. Only did these bars for my new intro. No, but seriously, hope you guys enjoyed this video. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, it's Kaza, and we're back with another one. Today, we're going to be reacting to I Swear to God by Khan. Now, my buddy was telling me about this track, and he said there's a track called Mind Over Matter that he really likes by Khan. Now, I put him on to Khan because y'all put me on to Khan, but he loves him so much, you know. But he was saying that I Swear to God and Mind Over Matter is kind of like they're not full songs they're just you know verses i don't know i don't know if khan meant to make them just a verse or if it's like a verse that was you know just thrown out there and then you know <clears throat> i don't know if promoting sounds because he said it's on promoting sounds channel both of them um so i'm not sure if promoting sounds got a hold of it and made it into you know like I don't know, I don't know, but he was kind of saying, you know, that they're just verses, um, so I'm ready to hear, you know, what he has to say, my buddy was saying, you know, that this one is just, this one, he said he likes a little bit better than Mind Over Matter, but he said this one, he just goes off, so I'm ready to hear what he has to say and what he has cooking, without any more talking, let's just get right into this. Insane. I can't find my mind on my sanity And I was baptized but never sanctified I need holy water for my crucifixion I'm sophisticated with a few convictions You enamored with the way a nigga spit it Style is enigmatic, do you motherfuckers feel it? Flow was automatic, who said I wasn't a realist? I'm a seven day Venice with this shit that I invented The venomous villain that's giving and killing They're finding the feeling, they're finding it funny For fame and the money, fronts have been fornicating I fool my lady, the hands are never gonna give it away I've been a Ooh, bro, bro, that flow is nasty, nasty, nasty Oh man, I'm gonna play that back all the way back here Bro, that shit, he, look, wow. Uh -huh. Look, <laughs> yeah. I swear to God that I went insane. I can't find my mind on my sanity. And I was baptized, but never sanctified. I need holy water for my crucifixion. I'm sophisticated with a few convictions. You enamored with the... I like that. So basically, you know, he's talking about, you know, how he feels like he's went insane. He's lost his sanity. Um, He's been baptized, but he's never been sanctified, which I mean... I think I don't I'm not sure exactly what that means but to me I'm just guessing that means you know cleansed of your sins um out of all the TV shows I've watched I'm just kind of going you know along those lines um I'm just thinking you know it means cleansed because of kind of what he's saying next he's like I need holy water for my crucifixion which you know crucifixions you know um is I'm pretty sure taking the evil out of someone taking like I, I don't know I'm not I'm not too sure about all this stuff but uh you know I I like when he was like I'm sophisticated with a few convictions you know I like what I like how he said that you know because I don't know if he really does have you know a few convictions but if he does he's showing you know to everyone that you can be something even with a record you know and a lot of people think nowadays, as soon as you go to jail and you have a record, you you just can't do anything with your life, and they spend the rest of their life, you know, doing bad shit because they don't think that they can make up for what's already on their record. So they're like, might as well get more shit on my record, you know? Um, <clears throat> so I like what he's saying there is, you know, if you do have a few convictions, you know, you have records, you know, you can be someone totally different you can change you can be sophisticated afterwards you can you can live a good life after you've done some bad things in the past you know like and i i just like the angle he's taken at that you know basically because it's right after the bar with the crucifixion part you know and that like i said i'm pretty sure that's like taking the evil out of someone so he's kind of taking that bar and talking to this bar saying how you can change and you can make yourself into a better person, you know. 
I like that. That was that was pretty fucking clean. I'm not gonna lie. Fiction, I'm sophisticated with a few convictions. You and Emma with the way a nigga spit it. Style is enigmatic. Do you motherfuckers feel it? Flow was automatic. Who said I wasn't a real? Flow is enigmatic. Can you motherfuckers feel it? I think he said that. Hold on, hold on. Emma with the way a nigga spit it. Style is enigmatic. Do you motherfuckers feel it? No, style is enigmatic. Can you motherfuckers feel it? Enigmatic. What? What is that, bro? See that word, bro? I've never learned that word. I've never learned that word. But I, you know, from the context, he's asking if you can feel it. So I'm guessing it's come some type of, you know, some type of thing like maybe shock. I don't know. That's that's kind of what I'm getting. You know, it's like a shock. It's like a little zap, you know, and he's asking if y'all can feel it. You all get that little that little dzz when you you know I, I don't know I don't know that's kind of that's kind of what I'm getting from just the context because I have no clue what that word means you know what I mean I'm not I'm not just gonna pretend I do but you know out of the context I'm guessing it's it's kind of means you know either that or you know like trance you know it's it's either it's like a trance you know once you hear his style his flow you just get sucked in you know what I mean it, it's one of those two you know I I just from the context, I'm not, I'm not too, uh, from the context, that's kind of what I get, you know, but from the word, I have no clue what it means, so your boy, your boy don't know, um, but his flow, dude, he, he's coming in fucking, this is, this is mad fucking good. Sophisticated with a few convictions, you and Emma with the way a nigga spit it, style is enigmatic, do you motherfuckers feel it? Flow was automatic, who said I wasn't a realist, I'm a seven day Venice with this shit that I get venom, the venom is villain, it's giving and killing, the fun and the feeling, the fun and the funny for fame and the money, fuck it before the kid and I fool my lady, the ass, I'm never gonna give it away, I've been erasing every solitary scene, and never the lyricism that we never depend, on monetary arrangements, I'm in it with pins, got a whole lot of issues, I don't know where to begin, I'm Bro, bro, this man is going fucking off, I'm gonna play it back right here. Just, oh my God, bro. So I heard a few things in there. One of the things I heard was he was saying, you know, for the fame and the money that frauds have been formulated, you know, basically talking about how in labels nowadays, they don't have people who can actually fucking do anything with a little bit of talent. They have people who they, like I say in a lot of my videos, who they can just control, you know, so it's easier for them, the labels, to take control over the people, tell them whatever they want them to do, and they just do it like a fucking puppet. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, that it's just so true because as soon as a new upcoming artist finds out about this deal that's worth like, it doesn't even have to be that much, 100K. They're just so excited for money and clout that they, they don't even give a fuck what they're giving up when they sign that deal. You know what I mean? They're like, oh... I ain't gonna read the fine print, but here's my signature. Here you go. And then they just get fucked. You know, they just get totally fucked by the label. This shit is fucking hard. His flow in this is nasty, bro. You and Emma with the way a nigga spit it. Style is enigmatic. Do you motherfuckers feel it? Flow was automatic. Who said I wasn't a realist? I'm a seven day of Venice with this shit that I get venom. The venom is villain. It's giving and killing. The fun and the feeling. The fun and the funny for fame and the money. Fuck it before the kid and I fool my lady. The ass never gonna give it away. I've been erasing every solitary scene. And never the lyricism that wouldn't ever depend. On monetary arrangements. I came in it with pins. Got a whole lot of issues. I don't know where to begin. I'm gonna pick a pencil, pop it, point it at the pages. Paint a perfect picture. Promise that my pain is a face within itself. And when a nigga really wanted up a was level the laceration the scar of anticipation they came from procrastination but that was never bro 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 this man is he said all this in motherfucking like 40 seconds because the song didn't start until like 15 seconds in i'm pretty sure this man said all this in like 40 fucking seconds bro this is more than um, this man said more in 40 seconds than probably all of the fucking mainstream artists out right now say in their whole fucking song. You know what I mean? Like that 40 seconds is like four songs to a fucking mainstream artist. You know what I mean? With all the meaning and the bars in there, bro. Like this man is fucking cooking. Let me tell you what. So before the kid and I fool my lady, the ass are never gonna give it away. I've been erasing every solitary scene and never the lyricism that wouldn't ever depend on monetary arrangements. I came in it with pins, got a whole lot of issues. I don't know where to begin. I'm gonna pick a pencil, pop it, point it at the pages, paint a perfect picture. Promise that my pain is evasive within itself. And when a nigga really wanted up, I was level the laceration. The scar of anticipation that came from procrastination, but that was. I like that. The scar of anticipation came from procrastination. That right there makes you think. You know, to me, he's saying basically. You're going to have, you know, if you anticipate shit to happen and you just want shit to happen in your life, 
but you don't do anything to get it or you don't do anything to reach your goal and you just set it off to the side and keep procrastinating basically he's saying you're gonna end up with a scar and it's it's not really a scar but it's you know a memory or you know just it's always in your head that you know you could have did that but yet you just sat on it too long procrastinated and now you can never you know you you, you feel like it's too late to do it now so you just you don't even go for it then you know you just still keep sitting on it when it's right there but you anticipated it the whole time you just wanted it to come to you you know what i mean and that that's just dope as fuck because that that is a lot of people nowadays they don't want to go for it they don't want to you know do something to get where they want to be they just want to sit where they are do nothing and have you know have the life they want thrown at them and it's like how do you expect everything you want in life to just be thrown at you without you doing anything to get it you know what i mean like how i i don't understand those types of people like how are you not going to get off your ass and work every single day you know to be where you want to be because that's the only way you're going to get it you know what i mean you got to work your ass off day by day by day to get where you want to be and I don't know. I, I just, I love how Khan, you know, he always talks about that and he, he, he does it. He literally does it. This man is working his ass off on his music and you can just fucking tell, you can tell. Um, but another thing in there I heard was he ain't never heard of lyricism that never depended on monetary arrangements, you know, basically talking about how he's never heard real lyricism in the rap game that wasn't just to make money. He's never heard of someone going and putting their all on a track just because they wanted to and they wanted their fans or, you know, just anyone to hear what they were going through, etc., you know. But instead, he hears people only putting out, you know, half the shit that they could, you know, half the effort you know, and they only do it for monetary gain. You know, they only do it for money. They only do it to get that paycheck. You know what I mean? Like he, and it's so true, dude. It is so fucking true that that is what the world is nowadays. People only do shit for money, you know, and it's fucked up. It's fucked up. You know, it, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 weird how the world how the world works now. You know what I mean? It's like people are just so caught up in, you know, trying to be the best, be the most famous, be the richest, be the coolest, be, you know, but why not just be yourself? You know what I mean? Like that's I don't know. That's the truest form of your of you is yourself, you know? And once you finally find yourself, that's when you can be the realest and you can be, you know, the happiest, honestly. But I, I, I don't know. I'm probably just talking shit, but, you know, this that's just how I feel about that part. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it is talking to me about. I, I don't know. It's just it's this is fucking dope as fuck, dude. And like I said, it, it, it's only like 50 fucking seconds in. So this man is just fucking talented as fuck bro seven day events with this shit that i get venom and venom is villain that's giving and killing the fun and the feeling the fun and the funny for fame and the money for the before the kid and i formulated the answer never gonna give it away i've been erasing every solitary scene and never the lyricism that wouldn't ever depend on monetary arrangements i came in it with pins got a whole lot of issues i don't know where to begin i'm gonna pick a pencil pop it pointed at the pages paint a perfect picture promise that my pain is a visit within this hold on hold on let me let me play that bro i fucking dig that let me play that one more time bro that when he starts to pick up a pen thing oh man every arrangement i came in with pins got a whole lot of issues i don't know where to begin i'm gonna pick a pencil pop it pointed at the pages paint a perfect picture promise that my pen is a visit within itself and when a nigga really wanted i'm gonna pick up a pencil i'm gonna pick up a pencil pop it point it at pages and paint a perfect picture like bro that shit that shit is just fucking fire and he, he's speaking the truth because that's that's what he does that's exactly what he does, bro. He fucking, he takes his pen, his pencil, whatever he writes with, 
takes out his notebook, you know, and just starts going to town on his lyrics. And usually he fucking, like he said, with his lyrics, he usually ends up painting a picture for while you're listening to him, you can just imagine what he's talking about. You know, it just grabs your fucking attention. And it's dope as fuck. It's dope as fuck. This man is... He's too good. He's too fucking good. Perfect picture. Promise that my pain is a visit within itself. And when a nigga really wanted up, it was level the laceration. The scar of anticipation. They came from procrastination. But I was never debating. I gave a sick in the back. I put this out of a track and left a nigga to trap. The motion I could match. You could bask in every one of my lines. No fabrication of concepts. I gotta make it real. My life is out of the content. The only way I'm dealing with the stress. But the sound is effervescent. I make a lesson impression. Depressing, impression playing. These niggas are saying nothing, discussing. These motherfuckers are steady, perpetuated. The ignorance and the cop and it's causing mental sedation. I pray to a higher power and hold the elevation. Deluded in the illusion, confusing my generation. God damn. Bro. Fucking A, dude. This man is just fucking going off. Like, it's... Wow, bro. This... And it, like I said, bro. It started at, like, 15 seconds. And I'm pretty sure I just, like... That was, like, a minute and 15 right there. So, a minute. And this man said more than people do with, like, seven other songs. This man is just fucking too good. I swear. This man... I see why he, uh... He titled it, I swear to God, because you just want to say, I swear to God, this man is fucking cracked. You know what I mean? Uh, no, that's not why he, why he named it that, but... Bro, this man is fucking cracked. They came from procrastination, but I was never debating. I gave a sick in the back. I put this out of a track and left a nigga to trap. The motion I could have matched, you could bask in every one of my lines. No fabrication of concepts. I gotta make it real. My life Ooh, ooh, I like that. So basically right there, he's saying that, you know, he only talks about real shit. He only talks about what he's going through, real shit around him, you know, and he doesn't fabricate, fabricate, fabricate lies to put in his songs just so you can feel it. He talks about the truth so you can sit there and bask in what he's saying and, you know, take it in and really relate to it, you know, because it's something that a lot of people go through because it's everyday shit you know it's struggles it's not something that was just thought of to make money you know what i mean like that that's dope as fuck i definitely dig that that was Vacation of concepts, I gotta make it real. My life is out of the content. The only way I'm dealing with the stress, but the sound is effervescent. I make a lesson impression, depressing, impression playing. These niggas are saying nothing, discussing. These motherfuckers are steady, perpetuated. The ignorance and the cop, and it's causing mental sedation. I pray to a higher power and hold the elevation. Deluded in the illusion, confusing my generation. God damn. So, basically, right there, he's adding on to the bar I was just talking about, how he doesn't, you know, make up lies. Um, and he's like, you know. I gotta, basically he's saying he's gotta write about what really happens in his life, you know, cause that's how he gets through his stress in a day, or he gets through his stress in the week, you know what I mean? He just, he sits down and he writes what he's going through, and you know, that's how he gets out of the hole he's in for that day or that week, you know what I mean? And it just makes him feel better. Um, but I also liked when he was like, to me, he's talking about the new generation of artists that are coming out and saying nothing on their tracks you know because he was like they're pe they're pressing play and saying nothing it's disgusting um so basically to me that's talking about like i said the newer generation of artists that hop on a track literally say nothing like they have no meaning at all it's just a bunch of jumbled words thrown onto a fire beat and that's what they call a banger you know um and he's basically saying how everyone in in you know his generation is getting brainwashed from this music and it it's like it's fucking with their brains and they think it's like i said a banger and then they listen to you know real music and they just they don't even like understand it they don't they don't want to actually listen to music anymore you know they just want to listen to the beat and it's like why and then basically at the end there he's like you know he's praying to you know the higher power that basically he hopes anything that's making you know the generation you know think like that or you know like the music like that gets diluted you know and that you know they start listening to more music that actually means shit start taking in lyrics that actually mean something instead of liking songs for just the beat and 
you know, people not saying anything over it. You know, they just, like I said, throw a bu bunch of jumbled words in there and people are like, oh my God, this is fucking fire. You know what I mean? And it's like, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, that that's kind of what he's talking about. You know, he's like, he prays to a higher elevation, you know, eluding any illusion that's confusing this, this generation, you know. And that's basically like I was saying. He just wants people to listen to music for meaning and, you know, not for the beat and not for people that don't even want to make music, you know. They're just doing it for monetary gain, like you said earlier in this song. This this song is dope as fuck. I'm not even gonna lie. This, this song is fucking... And it's not even a full song. This verse is fucking fire, bro. Like... This beat is very familiar. Is this a J. Cole beat? Or... Yeah, is it a J. Cole beat? It sounds like one. Alright, I think that's it. But, yeah, is that a J. Cole beat? Let me know. It is it definitely the... The ah in the back, you know, that, that kind of sounds like fucking a J.I.D. beat. I'm not too positive, though. I'm not too positive. But no, that was, that was fucking dope. That was fire, honestly. And that was only a verse, like I said. And this man spit more in that fucking minute verse than rappers can spit in fucking a whole album that they throw. You know, because they don't talk about shit nowadays, bro. Like, oh, man. And I love how he exposed it in this song. I want to see this with another verse and some choruses. I do. I want to see this thrown into a song. This shit, this shit is hard as fuck, bro. But that's going to be the reaction to I Swear to God by Khan. Now, if I had to rate it, honestly, dude, this shit was just a straight up 10. I don't even have to fucking, I don't even have to rate it because... His meaning was off the fucking hook. His bars off the fucking hook. Un enjoyability that whole time. I was just, dude, fucking fire, bro. Like this man, <sighs> he he's fucking incredible. I don't know how he is still underrated. Like how he doesn't, how he how has he not blown up yet, bro? This man says so fucking much. It's it's ridiculous. Delivery, definitely a fucking 25. Beat choice, a 10. All together, this man gets a solid 10. No doubt about it. He fucking came in. Minute verse. Talked about more shit, like I said, than fucking artists can on whole albums, bro. <sighs> man, I can't wait till we have a fucking rapper until we have, you know, someone that looks up to Khan coming up in the rap game, doesn't sign with anyone, becomes independent, and just fucking blows up. I want Khan to blow up, but dude, why? Why, why hasn't he? You know, if I feel like if Khan was going to blow up, he should have, like, seven years ago. This man has, like, 700 songs, you know, and the meaning in all his songs, bro probably add up to like oh my god i can't even do that math right now but a main like i said bro one of his fucking verses is like a whole album to a mainstream artist it's fucking crazy it is crazy like i'd rather listen to this than a whole album that just came out i'm not gonna name drop but this shit is fucking fire but with all that being said i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i appreciate all the feedback and support it means a lot if you're not subscribed already please hit that sub button it would really help me out we are doing a giveaway at 500 subs we're going to be doing some airpods and an elgato please hit that notification bell to see when i upload i try to upload at least five to six times a week i hope you guys have a fantastic day much love and peace out
I just want to say thank you for all the feedback and all the support. It means the world to me. And if you enjoy these videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more content. And as always, much love and see you next time.